sit. Good. We never repeat a command because if you want her to do it the first time you tell her, then uh, you'd never repeat it or else she'll think that she has to wait till you've said it several times. You'll never have anything meaningful that way. So in the beginning when she did not SIT, I would just gently but firmly put her there. I'd pull up with a little bit of pressure. Her butt might go down, but if it didn't, I'd take that with my right hand and just ease her down with my left. All she knows, she heard it once and she ended up there. And then I taught her to sit there until I released her. So we're not saying stay, stay, stay anymore, repeating that as well. We just teach her that she waits, no matter where I go or what I do, that she waits until I come back and give her the release command. This is just a basic sit stay where she can accept you walking either way around her. Make sure that you show me too. I'm going farther away. This is a fenced yard so I can drop the leash, but of course never do this in public. If she'll take food from you, good, you can give her some food. Which she won't for me because she's kind of nervous. She's waiting for you to come back next to her and release her. You're either going to patch her leg and do that to where she walks with you or you're going to let her be free. In this case, I'm going to pat my leg and say, okay. <laughs>